Hello, Horizon Church family. I am coming to you today on this Thursday from my prayer closet. Okay, it's not really my prayer closet, but it's going to become one today because I am here to actually lead you in a time of prayer. Jesus said, when you pray, go to your closet. So I went down the hall. I'm in a closet. I know he didn't mean that literally. What he meant was spend some time with me in private where it's not always in public. Oh no, now am I messing that up too because I'm getting ready to do my private prayer publicly? Well, give me a little bit of grace and a little bit of break because what I want to do is be used of Christ to help you pray privately right now. So I'm going to walk through the Lord's Prayer. I'm going to pray, and I guess we're not going to be doing this live together because you're watching this at some other time. But perhaps right now you could pull over to the side of the road you could find a parking lot. You could take your phone outside the house and walk down to a park. Or you could go out on the back porch. Or even you could find your closet and engage in prayer. And we're not going to say the Lord's Prayer. We're going to do what Jesus wanted us to do. In our closet, we're going to engage in prayer using it as a tool to help us think. So can I model prayer for you? Can I lead you in a prayer? Forget all that. Can you pray right now to your Father? Let's pray. Our Father, you're not just our Master. You're not just our Lord. You're not just our King. You're all that, but you're Dad. You're the one who adopted us, and we are yours, and you are ours. There's no one on earth who has ever loved us more. We're coming to you. We're talking to you. Father, you're in heaven, and we know how grand you are and how grand it is there. And we long to, to see you one day and understand how holy is your name. With the saints, with the cherubim, the seraphim, we want to dance about you. We want to fall before you. And we want to understand how big and heavy and awesome you are. We say, Father in heaven, may your name be hallowed by us. May we get a sense of it right now. May you move in our hearts. And may you help there to be a lot of other people in the earth who become your worshipers, who understand how great and awesome is the Lord who's our Father. As we get ready to pray, we have this tendency to focus on our kingdom, God, and our will. Oh, how we want to be kings and queens, and oh, how we want you to do what we want you to do for us, but we even pause now and repent and get our thinking straight. It's your kingdom that we care most about. It's your will that we care most about. It is so gorgeous as it is done in heaven, and we long to see it done more on this earth. Your kingdom, Father, your will, not ours, matters most. So forgive us for thinking so highly of ourselves. Forgive us for thinking so lowly of you. Thank you for reminding us. And we're so grateful that our Father smiles because all the wrath for us focusing on our kingdom has already been poured out on the Son. So we're okay, Dad. We're okay, Father. But that being said, we are on the earth and you are in heaven and we need daily bread. We need jobs. We need money. We need food. We need friends. We need good government, and we have these needs. And so for today, God, would you provide what we need? And as we're supplicating and asking for you to provide, because you know what we need, would you give it to us abundantly, more than we can ask or think? And help us to be thankful. For yesterday, you met our needs. Forgive us for not giving you thanks. Thank you, God. You've been so rich to us. But we don't only pray for our own personal needs. We pray for our needs. It's our Father. It's our daily bread. And so we think of our brothers and sisters who don't have what we have, and they have needs. So you're bringing them to mind right now, Lord, those who are lonely, those who are poor, those who are abused. Would you meet their needs too? 
Help us to pray more for your will and help us to pray more for the daily bread of others and not only our own interests. Father, we've already mentioned a couple sins right now. Forgive us. We know you have. You've already prayed from the cross, Father. Forgive them for they don't know what they're even doing. And now you're bringing it to mind and we're confessing our sins. When we think through yesterday and even this morning, how many are the sins that, the, that I've committed, Father, in my head, in my heart, with my mouth, with my thinking, in my actions. We don't take them lightly. Help us not to take them lightly. Help us to hate sin with a passion, but help us to understand we are not to live in shame. Father, you have forgiven us. Thank you for that grace that we don't deserve. But now we have to turn our focus elsewhere, and we don't like people that hurt us. We hold grudges. We're vengeful. We keep a record of wrongs, and we're supposed to be Christians those who have received so much grace from you and we can't even give a little grace to others. So Father, forgive us our sins and help us now to forgive the sins of others. Now God, you're sovereign. The world is yours. We are yours. The devil is yours and you will be done with him when you want. But for now, he roams about like a roaring lion and he's the evil one. Lead us not into temptation. Help us. Help us to flee temptation. Don't take us there, Lord. Help us to long for holiness and righteousness more than we do. But if you're going to take us there or allow us to experience such, would you deliver us from evil? Would you cause us to hate sin with our hearts so that we don't do it with our actions? And we pray not only again for ourselves, but we pray for our brothers and sisters, those whom we know are going to be sorely tempted today. Can you help them? We know you've already forgiven their sins, past, present, and future, but we don't want to walk in them anymore. Would you give us a greater desire to be holy? And would you give our brothers and sisters a greater desire for that as well? But why? Well, we've already prayed for your kingdom and your will. And yours is the kingdom. You got all power. It's for your glory. And we can't wait to see you forever and ever. That's truth. Father, help us. Thank you for leading us into communion today. And we look forward to walking with you in prayer until our next time of prayer with you by ourselves in our closet. Amen. I hope that helped you. May God bless you.